Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Gio and today we're going to be checking out Rhino from Aurora DSP. So sit back and enjoy. Thank you. Hey, what's up everyone? So today we're going to be checking out the Aurora DSP Rhino plugin. So I did a remix of a song called Darkest Day of Man by Whitechapel, in which I did get permission from the person who, uh, has who had this uh multi track that I got it from? Thank you, Cameron Mizell, for uh letting me use this. So, as you guys know, my other video was taken down and I received a strike for from URM Academy, which at first I was mad, but then I realized why be mad? At least they uh found my mix and it was so good that you know they got pissed off and they had to delete it. Oh, wow. Big, no big deal, other than the fact that I received a strike and only 3% of YouTubers even get strikes. They could have just gave me a copyright claim, but I get it, I understand it. They're money hungry, and uh, yeah. And I actually reached out to them to see if they would uh, retract it. I, I didn't hear nothing from them, which is fine too, because that company will never see a dime from me ever. In fact, I feel like uninstalling all my JST plugins because I don't even need it. That's how much I really don't care about it. But anyway, enough of the negative talk, and let's talk about today's video. I want to show you what I have on my, in my uh, tracks, and I'm going to get out of here and let you guys hear this full mix, which I think came out great. So let's start. My master track today that's all I'm running is this Waves plugin called Mix Down that uh, Chris Lord LG created or had his input into it. So this thing is very simple to use. It has an input stage and an output stage. Bass and the treble EQ uh, parameter adjustment, which, is, which are his EQ curves. It also has this compression stage right here, glue. And then it has a saturation drive stage right here as well. Then it has this one and two button deal right here. What's that? That's all this is, is uh, different flavorings because on a real console, each track channel sounds a little bit different from one another. So you just go through this and see which one you like better. So I have mine set on two, as you can see. So yeah, that's all I'm running on my mass track is this right here. And then I'm going into this make EQ4 tonal EQ, which I always like using on my master track. It's really excellent. So with those two plugins, I was able to achieve all my um, parameters that I need to be at. So I'm quite happy with that. Moving on to drums. I'm using Superior Drummer 3, Metalhead's kit, and a, pre, and a preset called Cut Through. But of course, I added stuff to the mixer as well. I love this mixer, by the way. Excellent. So that's it. That's all that's going on on drums. For the bass DI, I'm using uh, Mammoth um, by Aurora DSP as well. Set like this, as you can see. Then I'm running into this Pro Q3 EQ. I have this um, high pass at 60 hertz, low pass at about 4,500 hertz, and I have a, about a one to two dB boost at about 100, I mean 1,000 hertz, just to let it cut through in the mix a little bit better. So that's that. For the guitar boss, I'm running two guitar tracks, left and right, they're paying 100%, left and right going into this bus right here. And here we go, here's the Rhino uh, plugin that just came out. So let me go through this real quick. I wish this came with a manual, which it did not. But nonetheless, here's the input uh, stage. I have this bump that 2 dB uh, signal going in. And there's a noise gate. This also has a high pass filter set to 30 Hertz, 9 dB slope, even though I'm really not using it per se. And then there's these three flavors right here, depending on what type of pickups you're using, whether they're passive, active, high gain or not. You could choose, you know, whatever sounds best for you in this section. Preamp section right here, four different uh, channels, flavors you could choose from, you know, different pedal arrangements. You have a screamer, this other one called Brute, Bright, Fuzz, and then it has this uh, compression pedal as well, which, you know, I'm only using very little of. That's it. 
and then it has this drive section right here your bass middle treble eq section and then another you know high pass and low pass again you could in your overall mix eq section one thing i don't like about this it doesn't remember the settings i think it's a bug in the system but nonetheless i have this um high pass at about 80 hertz or so and low pass at about 7400 hertz and i dip down at about 4k just to get rid of some of the stuff i didn't like and this also has an EQ match uh, functionality as well, which is kind of sweet, but I'm not going to show you that today. And then there's two um, effect sections. This one has a flanger chorus and the phaser, as you can see. And right here is your delay and reverb, as you can see. Moving on to the power amp impulse response section, where you have your presence, resonance, and hot or like a bias type of a parameter adjustment. You have some curves right here, uh, flat, studio, or live. And here's your impulses. I left them in stock. I really didn't even adjust nothing at all. So you have like rhythm, tones, cleans, leads, then your own custom ones if you like. So that's that. And then finally, your output stage. Where you have this uh, section right here, it acts as a multi-band compression stage or you know your old Andy Sneep track for palm muting, which is kind of cool that it's built in. You have this limiter right here, which is nice. And you know your overall output right here. So yeah, guys, I'm really digging this uh, Rhino plugin. Sounds pretty cool. What's cool about it, it really doesn't emulate any amp. So it's kind of like a hybrid type of a plugin, if you will. And it's all I'm running after this is this uh, Pultec EQ. I love running Pultec EQs on my guitars, just like I love running Meg EQ4 on my master track. So these are my settings right here, very simple. It just adds a little bit of low end to it. I, I love that. So that's it, guys. So uh, yeah, I'm going to get out of here now and let you guys hear this full mix. If you're new to the channel, you like what I'm doing, please subscribe, like, share my content, leave me a comment, you know, give me a like, dislike, whatever you want to do, that's up to you. Until next time, please stay safe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.